This is a video on construction and fabrication workflows using Revit, AutoCAD and other 3D applications. Presented by Damien Jovica from Redstack. It all starts with a BIM model. Your client uses uh, Revit and uh, they need you for a bunch of services. However, you use AutoCAD. Now AutoCAD produces DWGs. And you like using AutoCAD. It's been around for a long time. You've hired the best guys. It's an industry level, uh, uh, industry standard uh, file format. It's got excellent fabrication level detail that Revit doesn't have and, and it's, a, it's a matured product. So the issues with changing is one, Revit doesn't really fit the bill um, and you don't want to lose the investment in, that you've already made and uh, there's just no time to transition. So let's take a look at this workflow a little deeper. You're producing DWGs, Revit produces RVT files. RVT files can't go in AutoCAD, so you've got to export to DWG to get Revit data, 2D data, into AutoCAD. You can go 3D as well. Now you use other applications as well. You use SolarWorks, SolarWorks creates parts, assemblies, it creates drawings. Yet again, also incompatible with uh, AutoCAD, so yet again, you've got to export into a, an, another file format. So in this example, it's DWG. So we're pushing DWGs now into AutoCAD. And you also happen to use Rhino. Now Rhino doesn't talk to Revit either natively, so you've got to go to SAT and get your Rhino files uh, into Revit. So you can see that there's some issues here. The main issue is incompatibility. Um, you've got some disconnect in the systems, obviously exporting issues, the fidelity of the file format. There's inevitable mistakes. Keeping up with change is also an issue and you've definitely got some da double data entry here going on. So let's take a look how we can improve this workflow uh, by using the um, Autodesk Product Design and Manufacturing Collection. And in particular Autodesk Inventor which is very similar to SolarWorks with better integration with uh, Autodesk applications like Revit and AutoCAD. So I want to go back to this workflow. As I was saying before, we're exporting uh, Revit to DWG, SolarWorks to DWG, Rhino is going to SAT. Now let's see what happens when we start introducing the uh, product design and manufacturing collection from Autodesk. The collection comes with Inventor, AutoCAD, Fusion 360, Navisworks, Nashtran and about 12 other apps. So let's drop Inventor right in the middle there and let's see how this workflow changes. Uh, so now I can drop in uh, Revit projects natively into Inventor. In terms of SolarWorks, SolarWorks has an associative link with Inventor so I can place my 3D model straight in Inventor from SolarWorks and if the SolarWorks model changes it automatically updates inside of Inventor. So now I have to do my fabrication level drawings. I can send that 3D model now straight to AutoCAD and if the 3D model changes it automatically updates inside of AutoCAD. So I can now produce very powerful uh, 2D documentation um, in the file format everyone likes. So the main benefits are I'm getting the power of 3D with the uh, power of AutoCAD and it eliminates the previously highlighted uh, issues in the, in the previous workflow. So let's enhance this workflow now and see what happens when we put Fusion 360 in the mix. Fusion's the first uh, cloud-based CAD model that's available on PC and Mac and um, it's got very um, powerful servicing tools. It uses NURBS and T-splines. So it's very similar to Rhino. So look, it's got the same limitation as Rhino in terms of going into Revit. You've got to export it to a SAT file. However, where it's uh, different from Rhino is that it's got an associative link now with Inventor. So depending on uh, what the job is or what the tool is in this particular workflow, Fusion 360, you've got these very powerful uh, associative links now happening with 3D. Now that workflow, although it's great, is a bit cluttered. So let's see how we can consolidate the design workflow. So let's go back and see if we can improve the workflow by consolidating applications and remove Rhino and uh, SolarWorks. This looks much cleaner now. You've got Fusion going to Revit if required via SAT. You've got an associative link between Fusion and Inventor. You can push 3D models out from your Revit to Inventor and we're detailing 3D models with AutoCAD. So it's a more streamlined and connected workflow. So let's see what other benefits there are in this workflow. So 
So Revit can go to Inventor via RVT, but Inventor can go back to Revit by exporting Revit families. And in terms of Inventor to AutoCAD, how about AutoCAD back to Inventor? Well, we've got an associative link with 2D AutoCAD DWGs back to Inventor as well. So um, very powerful connected workflows here. And also in the collection, you've got Navisworks as well. So Navisworks is a, is a project management and a review tool where you can bring all your 3D models and have associativity between um, all those models and data aggregate 3D and 2D, do 5D scheduling as well. So let's have a look at uh, which workflow flows best side by side. So on the left here, you've got a connected workflow between Revit and the product design and manufacturing collection. On the right here, you've got this disconnected workflow using uh, SolarWorks Rhino, AutoCAD and Revit. So let's have a look at that workflow back in action. You've got Revit and Inventor talking to each other, Fusion and Inventor talking to each other, and Inventor and AutoCAD talking to each other. That's just a small look at the product design and manufacturing collection. Uh, there's a lot more to it, um, but yeah, thank you for watching.